get a location. If I don't get a location in 30 minutes, I have to shave my head. For any vendors out there, you can go out, try this challenge. You have 30 minutes. Hello everyone, my name is Cody. The guy you see on screen is Eli, and today we have a bulk fitting machine challenge in collection video for you guys today. Uh, but let's talk a bit about what you all just saw. Eli sent a message to the manager of the tavern restaurant. Eli showed the owner a picture of the candy machine to help him visualize what it'll look like. It's a whole lot so that they can know what they're getting themselves into. We had shown up an hour prior, but the business was being opened up by another employee uh, who said we could come back within the hour. Uh, we did. We followed up with, uh, with what they were saying, and it all, it all worked out. So we technically didn't start our clock till we got a chance to actually pitch, but uh, did, we, uh, did we cheat? Guys, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, but honestly, we plan to just go door to door like Dominic, uh, but we use this technique most often and uh, we wanted to show you guys that you can message people prior, then show up and kind of show them what kind of the machine is and, and you know, what, you know, what is what, because uh, they, again, they just want to know what they're getting themselves into. Uh, after landing uh, the location, we head to uh, this restaurant this is a really cool uh, prison themed restaurant very awesome stuff but we're gonna go ahead and lock the top and give it a nice tilt turn her around and let's see how much she made now we did forget gumballs but it doesn't matter guys look how well it did that is pretty freaking good uh, we're looking at 2350 in three weeks uh, since our last service this is very nice uh, very very nice and uh, we actually did forget the gumballs, the uh, nerd gumballs that, were, that we needed to put in. Uh, but we went back, uh, picked them up, and refilled the machine. And she is looking very nice. We will lock that up, spin her around, and we will go ahead and move on to our next location. All right, here we are at a car detailing business. All right, Skittles peanut M&Ms are looking pretty scarce. I think we can, uh, I think we can go ahead and fill those up, and we can bet that uh, this machine did very, very well.
this is a two week service so for two weeks it's already looking it's already looking pretty pretty good so I believe this location should be a uh, very promising spot for the foreseeable future let's go ahead and open up the back see how she did and very very nice that is layers of quarters love to see it all right we will go ahead and scoop all those in very very nice this is a spot that we also share with Daniel great guy he's got awesome uh, Dixie narco there we also got a nickel and a dime we are that much richer very hot spot again if I didn't say already maybe I did this was 3325 very very nice we will go to the other car detailing uh, business and it's already it's looking pretty okay with candy uh, we're just gonna go ahead and turn her around and see how she did we also share this location with uh, with Daniel he's got a very nice combo machine in back but look how awesome this machine did that is uh, that is also very very layered we will go ahead and scoop those out so we are looking at 2125 for the week very nice we've been checking this spot weekly as of late but um, as we were leaving we had the idea to go ahead and take out this yellow uh, three selection and put in a nice brand new Rhino it's got the chrome uh, finish now this is the very first chrome one that uh that we've owned and uh you know what i like it quite a bit i i thought i'd be stuck on the uh the matte black uh stand and uh the chrome looks the chrome looks very nice um my my question now is it gonna stay nice and clean or is it gonna are we gonna have to wipe it down constantly i know the black gets quite a bit uh of uh grime and dirt on it but uh i guess we'll have to see for the uh for the new rhino chrome all right guys we are here at walmart as you can see we'll go ahead walk right in all right and it is looking very very nice very low on gumballs per usual so we will go ahead and open up the top and dump those in. We were actually uh, given a, a service call to, to come and fill this up because uh, I suppose this machine is uh, talked about quite often. But let's go ahead and open the back and look at that. That is the best one of the day. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and scoop that in. We are looking at 48, 25 in three weeks. This is a hot spot as always. Very, very nice. All right, guys, the four machines together made 125 gross. Very, very nice passive income. Uh, any other vendors watching should definitely try this challenge, guys. We'd love to see it, if, if, especially if you, if you would get it on video if anything just push yourself you know uh just a little more than you than you would maybe you know get out of your comfort zone and um just kind of put yourself out there it, it, it's kind of awkward and it sucks and it's uncomfortable but uh it really really does work um also we have our uh, live stream coming up we'd love to have you guys that is this come sunday uh, we will have a more specific time. Uh, it should be by 2, pa uh, 2 p.m. Central Time Zone. Uh, so look forward to that. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we just got a couple more totals here. 48.25. Very awesome stuff. All right, everyone. We will catch you Sunday at our live stream. Thank you so much for watching.
Goodbye.